Hello friends, in this video we are going to see what are shift registers, their types and how to use them in your circuit. Okay, well, let's see what I had in my laptop. Shift registers are sequential logic circuits. It is used for data conversion, buffering and storage of binary data. But today we will see how they can also be used to expand the number of digital I.O. ports on an Arduino or any other microcontrollers. For example, Arduino Uno has 14 digital I.O. pins and Mega has 54 digital I.O. pins. But what if you want to light up hundreds of LEDs? For example, in LED cubes there is a need for connecting a bunch of LEDs. There we can make use of our shift registers. Also, they can be used in 7 segment LED displays. There are basically 4 types of shift registers. They are serial in, parallel out, parallel in, serial out, parallel in, parallel out, and serial in, serial out. 95 is 15 like the IC. Okay, you can count from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And from here, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, total 16 pins. And first, 1, 2, 7, they are parallel data out. Okay, they are data output pins. Parallel data out. Eight pin is ground pin. This ground referenced. Sixteen pin is VCC. We must provide a minimum of two volt and maximum of six volt. Okay. And fifteen pin is parallel data output. Fifteen pin is also parallel data output. And 14th pin, it is serial data input. And 13th pin, it is output enable. 12th pin, it is storage register clock in. Okay, and 11th pin is shift register clock in. 10th pin, master reset and 9th pin it is serial data output so let us directly check the use of our hc 595 ic this is our ic okay means shift register here i am making use of breadboards not zero boards so i am not using my socket okay i can directly fix it over here Here I arranged my LEDs and resistors. Okay, for protecting it, and I added some resistors here. Here I added different value of resistors, but you can make use of any values of resistors ranging from 200 to 500 ohms. And other components you needed are an Arduino and some jumper wires. Okay, first. Can give the power and ground reference. Okay, five volt. You're giving the five volt to here and ground. The ground. I'm giving a reference to here. Okay, where I where I fixed my LED. Okay, that row I have ground referenced and the other I give it to 5 volt of from my you know 
Okay. Then this pin of this pin of our IC is ground. Ground reference. I'm just giving it to ground and 16 pin. Here it is 5 volt. Okay, you can give it 2 to 6 volt, a maximum of 6 volt. Now here I am adding it to 5 volt from Arduino. Okay. I fixed it. You can see here. Okay. Now these are output pins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and here 1, 8. Okay. Now we can add this is 0, 0 to 1. We can add it to here. Okay, 1. Another pin. Using mail to mail jumper wires. Okay, and here 2. 2. Then from here 3. Four. Okay. Five. Six. Seven. Now our last one. Okay, from here. Eight. Okay, we are successfully given our data outputs to LEDs. Okay, you can see here. I hope you understand the circuit. Okay, now we can move on to other pins here. Okay, from here 9 and here 10. Okay, we can leave this 10th pin because it is serial input. Okay, then 9 and pin it is always we want to keep it up so we can give it to 5 volt. Okay, 5 volt of our Arduino. Giving it to 5 volt of Arduino. Okay. And 11th pin. Okay, can take the 11th pin to 11th digital pin of our Arduino according to our diagram. I have shared the circuit diagram and code in the description. Okay, you can search it there. Okay, here yeah. we have okay, we have connector 9, 10, and 11. Now 12. Connect the stall to 10 of Arduino, digital 10 of Arduino. Okay, I am connecting this according to my diagram. Okay, connecting it to digital 10 of Arduino. Okay, now 13. We want to connect the 13th bit of our IC to ground of Arduino. I am giving it to ground. Okay. And 14, last pin, 14. I'm giving it to pin 12 of Arduino. Okay. From here, I'm giving it to little pin 12 of Arduino. Okay, our circuit, of, our circuit is complete. Okay, you can see here. This is our wall circuit. Before powering it, make sure your IC is placed in the correct position. Okay, I hope you can see. Okay, this dot, this dot should come in right side. Okay, and we pushing it here. There. Okay, now I am powering my circuit. Okay, now I just turned on my 
solitude okay okay friends this is our program this is our first program this program is of printing number 0 to 255 okay you can see here our low case from 0 to less than 255 that means 255 okay first part is okay first part is variable declaration part where we declared our variable slash pin to detail pin of origin of 10 Okay, and clock pin to 11 and data pin to 12 perspectively. Okay, and coming to a setup part, we have made these two uh, three pins as output. Okay, last pin, clock pin, and data pin. Okay, and coming to the loop part, we have given an integer at as number to display. It is from 0 to less than 255, means 255 running number 0 to 255 and we are opening it okay we are making first the last pin low then we are giving the shift out shift out function that is uh, we are giving a bit at a time uh, as you know our shift register is a 8 bit shift register okay so it can uh, actually it can display 255 a total of 255 actually it can display total of 255 numbers that is, you can see here, this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. That means when taking the sum, we will get 255. That means we can display a total of 255 numbers using this 8-bit shift register. Okay, I hope you understand. Now we can just run this program. It is compiling, loading, yes, it's done, uploaded. Okay, you can see here, it's displaying some something. Okay, actually it's counting from 0 to 255. Okay. okay. You can see here, it's counting from 0 to 255. I think some of you don't get um, don't get the concept what I am showing here okay for you I will start from the basic okay now we can make a small change in our program okay now I am just deleting this row okay just removing this row number 2 display and just copy it in number 2 display and just copy it and pasting it here ok ok just paste it here and it's good habit to be constant uh, so we can avoid memory wastage ok here also we can constant display equals zero again just uh, removing this loop yes just remove that loop and I want to print that okay and before that I am giving the number to display is one that means we want that means we want to print one one using this shift register Okay, now I am uploading the program, compiling, this is done, uploaded. You can see here, it is printing 1, that means this is first pin, okay, this is 1, okay, it's actually 8, 4, 2, 1, you can see here, this is 8, 8, 1, 8, 4, 2, and 1, now it's displaying 1, okay, now I am changing this value to 2. Okay. Now, it's, now it will show 2. Okay, this pin will. Okay, you can see here it's displaying 2, counting 2. Okay, now we want to display 3. Then 2 plus 1, 3. 
then these two LEDs should uh, uh, should light up. Okay, let's check. I mean, I'm giving it here three. Okay, let's check it. Okay, it's uploaded. You can see here it's three. Okay, then you can guess four. Yes, then four will be here. Okay, then these two LEDs will be off and this will be on. That means it's four. Then eight. Okay, 16, 32, likewise 128. Okay, totally we will get 255. I hope you understand. Okay, now we can check the number nine. That is eight plus one. Okay, this is one and eight here. Eight plus one. Then if you are giving nine, these two LEDs will light up. Okay, let's check it. Okay. Um, give it your nine and uploading it. Yes. I hope you understand the concept. Now we can give it on two, 255. Okay, let's check what we have. 255. I'm uploading the sketch. Okay, let's check. Yes, we got it. Uh, one LED is not working. I think this LED is damaged. Okay, here is a no program. This is just for a LED flasher. Okay, now we can upload our code. Come by link. This is done uploading. You can see here 